Hey guys, Jonathan here with Colorado Custom Covers and Decks. Just wanted to go over what to do or what we came across here with uh, the house didn't have any rim board. Uh, it's the first time in my career that kind of came across this situation, but usually there's a rim board here attached to the TGIs or two by 10 or two by 12, whatever the floor joists are. But in this case, all we got is a three quarter inch plywood. And so we can't attach a ledger of our deck because normally a ledger of our deck will go up against here and attach through, but with just the three quarter inch plywood, there's no way that's holding. You have no lateral tension. So that deck could pull right off. And I think the only reason why this kind of stayed up is that this deck here, they stoned around all the joists and that those joists were in there really well. I mean, even just taking all this stone out to try to get the joist out and demo out was very difficult. So over here, we do have a rim. Actually, we got, um, the walls, we got the joists or uh, studs of the house coming down through here. So I called up my engineer right away uh, to come up with a situation because another option would be, you know, you can come in, cut this back and put in the rim and then nail the rim in. So and then the rim will start at the edge of this plywood back. But the problem with that though, you know, just nailed into this uh, the TJIs, the problem is, is that there still is no lateral tension, you know, I just don't really like that. And so uh, we came up uh, with a situation, engineer drew up a drawing. And so what we came up with was two by fours that are two feet long with Simpson SDS quarter inch screws, three and a half inches long, uh, six in here, going through, screwing them through. So the SDS would come through here, through the plywood and tag through this other two by four on the other side. So sandwiching it all the way through. And then we put in the Simpson DTT2Z. Uh, we got the nut and the thread all back in here. So then once we put our ledger on, we'll attach then this side to the joist. So now that's gonna give us a lateral tensioner. So that's gonna keep that ledger from falling off. And so we did this on every section and we have a ton of sections. This house is just cut up of 45s everywhere. Um, and so we got uh, one on each end. So we got one over there, one in the middle right here, and then one over here. And so uh, throughout all the sections that we need to get this where we don't have any um, structural for our, our ledger to attach to. And so then in between what we did is we blocked in between each TJI and what that's gonna do is we'll be able to nail to our our ledger to this and then also lag to this. And what that's doing is that's keeping our shear from our ledger. Um, so that's because this is on top of the top plate and on the bottom of the top plate of the, or bottom plate, I guess, of the second floor. And so that's gonna keep that ledger up and down from moving, all right? But if we just did that, there still would be no lateral tensioner. So this deck could pull away and fall away. So. That's what we're getting with this here. So again, to recap is do not attach your ledger of your deck to the house if there is no rim, okay? I know it's a big pain in the butt, a lot of work. I mean, it really set us back probably a day and a half here, but um, you know, we just, we just need to do it and do it right and make sure that everything's solid. I mean, could you have probably went through and put up a ledger and no one would have even known? Yeah, I probably could have got away with it, but you know. That's not right and not being able to sleep at night not getting it done proper is not not okay with us so all right guys hope this video helped and um give us a like give us a share instagram is colorado underscore covers underscore decks check us out thanks